wanted to give y'all an update on my 3d printed beehive that I've designed my bees are gathering around the outside of the entrance and my tube going into my hive is very crowded um, I'm thinking the tube is not big enough it's an inch and a quarter in diameter so I've decided that I'm gonna enlarge it to two and a half inches see if that'll give them more room coming in and out first thing I gotta do to to install that is to drill a hole in the board that's in the window I placed a board at the bottom of the window and then closed the window down on the top side of it and so I'm just going to drill a hole through there and I have 3d printed a entrance that I'll go outside and stick through the hole from the outside first I have to drill this hole through here So I'm going to put this tape over it to make sure that no bees come inside the hole while I'm trying to get it connected. So now I'll go outside and put the entrance on the outside of the window. You can see how the bees are all piled up on the existing entrance. Um, I'm not sure if they just hanging out there or if they're having trouble getting in, but I'm going to put a larger tube on there and see how they do with that, see if that fixes the problem. This is the entrance that I 3D printed. I'll stick it through the, the hole I just drilled had a little problem 3D printing this. It didn't stick to my bed good and it came loose and it made a gap in it and I filled it in with my 3D pen and it doesn't look very smooth so, but it'll work. So now I'm back inside and I'm going to connect the two and a half inch tube to the entrance that I just put in from outside. I'm going to have to test fit it before I take the tape off to make sure it's going to connect the way I want it to. This hose came with some clamps, and I'd never used clamps like these before that had the thumb screw on them, but I kind of like them. I, I've ordered me some more of them because they, they're real handy. You don't have to have a screwdriver or a socket wrench or anything to tighten up the clamps. You just uh, turn the thumb screw. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. I'll try to answer them in the next video. I had some questions about if I was going to sell my beehives or if I was going to make the files available. I'm still working on them. I keep making changes on them and still testing everything out. So once I get everything the way I want it, I may consider selling them or making the files available. So now I just need to get a measurement on the length of it so I can cut it off. I'm going to go ahead and place the entrance on the hive so I can get a more accurate measurement there.
and I'm just going to cut the plastic with a pair of scissors. There is a wire that is coiled around the outside of the tubing and I'll cut around to that wire and then I'll get a pair of wire cutters and snip the wire in two. You can see this tube here is a good bit bigger than the one that's on there. So I think they'll be a lot better off. It'll be a lot easier for them to, to come and go. I have seen them coming in the tube and uh, one will get almost all the way in and other bees will come along and push him all the way back. So hopefully this will solve the problem of them getting too crowded inside that tube. So now I'm just going to open it up and, and let the bees go down in the tube. And it doesn't take the bees no time to already, they're headed down the tube. I was really surprised at how fast they did make their way into the tube. But it, it was almost immediately. And that's the, the new entrance there, and maybe they'll start using it instead, and I can take the other one out. And these are my goats. Uh, looking out the window above my the entrance of my beehive there. And my goats are dwarf Nigerian goats. Mainly have them to keep the grass cut around the backyard and pasture there. And the goats do a good job of keeping the grass cut around the pond, too. I have about a three-acre pond right there. And here are my bees. They have really done a lot of drawing out of comb. This, the first section that I installed here, um, it's on a second generation of, of comb right here because they have, the bee, queen laid the eggs in this section here and they capped them off and they hatched out and now she laid more eggs in there and they have capped that off and so it won't be long they'll be hatching out again so that brood is on its second generation there this hive here is the second section that I added and they have it almost full of drawn out comb Got a little bit more down towards the bottom on the left side that it's, they haven't filled up yet, but they're steady working at it. And then this is the third section that I've added, and they've started at the bottom and they're working their way up uh, on it. So they're they're really doing very good, I think.
won't be long I'll be opening up my flow hive and letting them go down into the flow hive but I've decided that before I let them into my flow hive here I'm gonna go ahead and put a larger tube on it I had the same inch and a quarter tube going down to it and so I'm gonna put a two and a half inch tube on it as well so I'm gonna take that off and I'm gonna place the new entrance that I 3d printed for the larger hose on there now I don't have my clamps to clamp this to it yet I've ordered some but I'm just gonna stick it on there so I can get a, a test fit and see how long I need to cut my tubing This is a little elbow I 3D printed. I'm going to drill a hole in the back of it and put the elbow in the hole and then attach the tube to the elbow. But first I'm going to take my flow frames out so that I don't drill a hole in them or damage them while I'm drilling the hole into the, the box. 3d printed a little plug and stuck in the hole in the side down there in the, the bottom right corner you can see a little circle plug there that I stuck in there to fill up the hole from the previous tube that I had in there I'm not going to take all the frames out I think three will be enough to make room for my drilling This is a two and three eighths inch bit. The tubing is two and a half on the outside and it's about two and three eighths on the inside the diameter. Just put my elbow in it and attach the tube to the elbow. And I've already coated these uh, flow frames with some beeswax. I uh, did that in an earlier video. If you didn't see that, you can go back and watch that. to get a, a measurement for the how long I need this tube to be. Once again, I'm just cutting the plastic with a pair of scissors and then I'll get a pair of wire cutters and 
snip the remaining wire that's holding it together. And I think that'll fit nicely once I get my clamps and secure it. So I'll just put my top back on and screw it back down. I hope you've enjoyed watching my video. Uh, I have a lot of other videos. If you look in the description below, you'll find some of my other videos that I've posted earlier. And uh, if you have enjoyed my video, I check back with me next week and I'll post another video next week showing how my bees are doing. Thanks for watching.